Uh, welcome to an installment of Local DBA Tutor. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, I'm going to show you how to create a table using the SQL Developer. Um, so and I'm going to be using the um, I want to be creating a um, a replica of the of one of the HR tables. Um, so the uh, first thing that you have to do is again I already have my connection set up. Uh, I have this this and I have the HR connection. So basically, what I need to do is because I um, because again, so if I so basically, so typically what you would do is you would just open up the uh, connect to the you know use it, <laughs> uh, open up your HR connection and go to and connect to the database. But the thing is now I need to I need to be able to look at the table structure to be able to um to be able to uh, basically just um to see uh, what the you know what the different uh, attributes are for that for that table. So. I'm gonna use the SQL plus on the side so I can look at that um, at the structure of that table. So I'm already connected as HR. I'm gonna issue show user and I'm HR. And I'm going to um I'm going to basically just see what tables are available with the HR schema. Underscore name user underscore tables. So basically, these are, the, these are the tables that I have in the HR schema, and then um, I need to I need to just again I'm gonna look at the structure for uh, let's say location. So I just want to get a, a a a decent a decent size uh, table uh, with enough attributes so I can uh, show you how to do the, do the created, uh, table creation on a SQL Server. So that looks good. That looks decent enough. Let's try departments. That's too small. Um, let's try uh, employees. And that's way too big. So I'm gonna go with this one with a location ID. I would put a location table. I mean, so what I would do is again. So this is a structure that would that I'll be um, um um this is this is a structure that I'll be replicating on my. On my uh, sys in my sys schema. So what I do now is I'm going to make um, start a connection with um, the HR the uh, sys schema. See this disconnect and then disconnect and then start a connection. Put in the password. Give it a second. Okay, connection busy. Let's close that. Okay, there you go. So what I'll do is Okay, so what I do is I am again I'm gonna be creating a table um similar to this table so what I'll what I'll do is I'm gonna go to I'm gonna expand it so I can see exactly what's here. So this is a table uh objects again so these are these are different objects that you have that you um that you be able to um uh, basically just uh, you know have uh administer um you know in uh, you know in terms of your database. So what I'll do is I'm gonna right click on table. And then I'm gonna create a new table. So basically this is um so if you if you do not want to um, basically just write the script, this is a, this is how you can bypass that. You can just use this script to use a SQL developer. So I'm gonna create a table for location. Uh, let's see if I can make that cap. Okay, 
applications uh, advance so I can have more um, I be able to do more configuration for my um, for my um, you know for my for my attributes. Okay. Column. So column one, I'm actually going. I'm going to call it location ID. Location underscore ID. A yeah, location underscore ID is a nut now uh, column, and it's a uh, it's a number column. So let me switch over to number precision four, and cannot be now again. Not now um, is the is the um, is the definition that you have on the um, on that on that um, column. So and then I'm gonna add location ID. Next one is gonna be Street underscore address again. So you can again think you can also go back and forth between you know simple and complex, and you have and you complex. You have more. You just have more uh, data types. Uh, not you have you have additional data types, not more data types. You just different data types. Not data types. So simple. Okay. Uh, this is a raw chart. This is 40. Okay, and then units. This is gonna be bytes. Um, and this one can be or cannot be now, so that's not really uh, a major issue. So the next one is gonna be poster code. Poster underscore code. So this is also going to be watcher, but this one is going to be 12 and bytes. Um, and this one also, this one actually can be null. Let me see. This one, two. Yeah, the, yeah uh, poster code can be null, so. I'm not gonna check the cannot be no um, box, and I know, and I know you have, you might have the tendency to just click on OK, but basically you have to make sure that you keep clicking on plus to add all the uh, the different columns. So plus next one is gonna be city. Uh, this one is gonna be virtual. This one is gonna be thirty, and then again the unit is gonna be byte, and this one is a not now, so I'm gonna click on the cannot be no button. And next one is gonna be state province. Uh, this one is also gonna be watcher. Uh, this one is going to be let me make sure 25. And this one is uh, is can or cannot be now, so I'm not gonna check that that not now box, but um, units byte. And then the last one is gonna be country ID. ID. And then I'm going to again this one is a char actually. So scroll down. It's a it's a char uh, data type and it has the length of two two units which is actually the, the number of bytes. Uh, so basically so once this is done you once you uh, you place you pre created all the columns, you can click on um you can click on actually no before I do that, let me do this. The primary key I'm gonna assign the primary key to uh, location ID to not know. So location ID, okay. And then Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, that's okay. You create it. There you go. So I've just created a uh, location stable. Let me do this. I'm going to minimize my um, 
I'm gonna minimize my table and then actually you know what? Let me do this. Let me open it. Go all the way down, scroll all the way down to locations. And this is my location table. So if I click on this uh if I expand it, it's gonna show me what my structure is for this table. And so basically there you go. So you can you can basically just view the structure by simply clicking on the object on that uh, table object. So location, this is what it looks like, and this is exactly what I have on here. So basically, this is how you create a table in um, using SQL Developer. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you uh, guys next time. Thank you.